most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living in retirement having. When we're thinking about things, we're actually having independent thought. There's a lot of different types of thinking. There's divergent thinking, there's dialogic thinking, and there's all kinds of superfluous Kantian theory thinking. But the question is, what do you know about? What do you think about? And when you think about it, how do you plan it out? Do you decide what you're going to do every single minute of the day? Do you plan the front of the week into the end of the week? Do you pr pr provide yourself the idea of I work Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, Monday through Wednesday, Monday and Tuesday only? Or are you working two really long days? Or are you only working on the weekends? What's your plan for your life? How do you plan to choose your time? How do you plan to manage your time? How do you plan to manage your existence? How do you plan to do things in your life? Because a lot of people don't plan at all. They just take their life day to day. They get themselves in a career track, they get themselves in a retail position, they get themselves in a management situation, or they get themselves as a salaried employee. And they do their job day in and day out. But if you're a business owner like me, if you're an entrepreneur like a lot of people, you have to plan your week. And when you plan your week out, it depends on the day of the week of what you plan to do that day. At the same time, you have to plan your day based on what happens to you. Sometimes the interactions with people that you plan to have interactions with or appointments with or interviews with don't play out. So then you've got to figure out how to make that up. How do you make up that time? How do you make up that opportunity? How do you make up the research or the resource network that you're planning to do for me or for you? So in life, we have to think about what we're doing for a living. But here's the truth. Most people don't plan their life. And as a result, they don't get it very far in life. They might get to a forty or fifty thousand dollar a job, a uh, year a job, sorry, a forty or fifty thousand per year job, but a lot of people never get there at all. I was recently talking to a science-oriented major who's about got a year left in her college here, and she was believing that she could walk out of her university just out of undergrad and make a forty thousand dollar a year job. And I thought, wow. We didn't do that back in college. And maybe that's possible for someone with a science background and who knows everything there is to know about killing or producing or budding or whatever they do with marijuana. But that's not the point. The point is every career has a different beginning salary and every year you get a three to seven percent raise if you do really well in your performance. But if you don't, how do you increase your money? You see, independent thought is what we have to have more of today. And independent businesses are definitely needed today. But national conglomerates are suffering today because a lot of young people don't know how to be an employee today. They're too busy in their independent thought. They're too busy in their independent mind. They're too busy in their opinion. And they're too busy feeling entitlement over time. I've definitely visited some fast food restaurants where I can't get over the attitudes and the arrogance of some of the people there. And if I claim the demographic of people who are doing that, you'd be like, not surprised or you'd be pissed at me. So I can't say that and I can't do that, but there's definitely a statistical analysis of that. You see, in life we have most of the time to speak the truth and most of the problems that people run into in their career are lack of planning of what they're going to do for a living in the future and a lack of training of how to do it well and move themselves all the way through the lifeline of that career.